Okay, hi everyone. We're going to take a look at solving a radical equation with two uh, radicals in it. This will uh, be one of, one of two that we do here. Uh, when you get two radicals in here, uh, first thing we want to do is probably identify the, the, un, uh, sorry, the restrictions here. Uh, we've got, because of this term right here, whoops, sorry, this term right here, we know that x plus 11 has to be greater than or equal to zero, which means x will have to be greater than or equal to negative 11. Uh, and over here, we know that x minus 9 has to be greater than or equal to 0, which means x has got to be greater than, whoops, sorry, wrote that kind of bad, it has to be greater than 9. Mm -hmm. Now, comparing those two here, the only one that makes them both work here is this x is greater than or equal to 9. Now, when you've got two radicals in an equation, uh, what we've got to do is just get rid of one at a time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to choose one to isolate, and I'll bring this this term over, so it'll be 2 plus the square root of x minus 9, okay? Uh, if, I don't, if I don't isolate it, it's not really going to, to simplify the way I want it to, and in, and in fact, it'll maybe make it a little bit more complicated. But here, if I square this, I know on the left-hand side, that's just going to become x plus 11. Over here, now, and again, here's the biggest danger, this becomes this, okay? We've got two different binomials multiplied together. We're squaring it, so we have to distribute those out. So this becomes x plus 11 is equal to 4 plus 2 root x minus 9 plus 2 root x minus 9, so 4 root x minus 9. And then when the x minus 9 times x minus 9 is multiplied out, we're just going to get plus x minus 9. Okay, now when I have two radicals in an equation, uh, I'm not going to be able to get rid of all of the radicals. When I, when I do the squaring here, I'm still going to end up with a radical. I have to do this twice. So now what I've got to do is I've got to take this term right here and isolate it. So, but the nice thing is, is if I bring that x over, the x's actually cancel each other. Now I've got, on the right-hand side, I've got 4 minus 9. Together that's negative 5, and when I bring that thing over, I'm going to get, uh, what am I going to get here? I'm going to get 16. And then this is going to equal 4 times x minus 9. Uh, if I can, I want to divide out that, uh, that 4 on both sides here. Now, in this case, that works out quite nicely to get this. Okay. If I can't, though, then I would, I would just leave it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother fighting with it. I would just leave whatever number is there and just include it in the squaring here. But that one divided out, so I can square here. This is going to get 16 is equal to x minus 9. Okay, square both sides, get through the square root. Add the 9 over and I get 25 is equal to x. Okay, now, does that satisfy my initial restriction? Is 25 greater than or equal to 9? Yes, it is, and so that works.